Hello everybody, uh, Ken Cooley here, Public Image Chair for District 6510. I wanted to uh, reach out to you guys and, uh, you know, obviously everybody is in uh, this crazy isolation and this crazy time. Uh, but uh, what we wanted to do is I want to kind of give you some of the tools that you may need to be able to uh, move forward with some maybe meetings. Uh, move forward with getting the word out. Uh, once this all passes, we're still going to be running the same way we've always run. So, you know, again, uh, as far as public image goes, we want to tell our story. Uh, for my generation, we've never really had uh, to deal with anything quite like this pandemic that's going on right now. You know, so in the future, people are going to want to hear the stories of how, what you guys did and how what did Rotarians do. So kind of keep that in mind as you go. We're creating history right now. So um, we definitely want to document that. We want to tell our stories. Hopefully in the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes, I'll be able to kind of explain to you uh, easy ways to do that and uh, if you have any questions I'm gonna have all of my contact information below as well and it'll pop up at several points during this uh, uh, video but again uh, you know we want to make sure that we tell the world uh, how we help So one thing I did want to talk about was uh, your governor coming in, Lorraine. Uh, Lorraine's, how do I say this? Uh, Lorraine's kind of cool. So Lorraine, we kind of talked about it. Lorraine doesn't want to come in and tell you as a club, hey, this is what you should be doing. Uh, you're doing this wrong. We want to know what you're doing and uh, we just want to help. We want to make it better. And I think that's the cool thing about Lorraine coming in. Uh, Gary, too. Gary, for the most part, uh, you know, we've had a pretty good governor line coming in. So, um, but again, with Lorraine, we don't want to tell you guys what you should do. Uh, we really just want to help you out. So if, uh, again, if you have questions, concerns, uh, all of my contact information, I'm going to say this 800 times, is going to be uh, throughout this uh, video. So... Let's get started. Uh, I'm going to kind of cater my presentation a little bit differently than uh, what you have seen in the past from me. I do want to talk a little bit about our current governor, Gary Hamm. Uh, he went with this superhero theme. And the reason why I think that's kind of neat is because uh, you as presidents of and you know, presidents elects of your club, uh, you really are, as Rotarians, uh, superheroes. We're out in the community, we're, uh, you know, kicking down doors, we're building benches, we're we're donating to food banks uh, all over. So for us, uh, we need to tell this story. We really need to have an understanding of uh, what Rotarians can do uh, even during this pandemic and what we are going to continue to do. So that's kind of where we come in. I want to first talk about some of your options uh, for meetings, right? So right now we can't all get together. So a lot of us are kind of in limbo right now. Some clubs have decided to hold off on uh, creating, uh, doing meetings and getting together, obviously. So uh, there are a few options out to you. If you have a club member that has a go-to meeting account or something along those lines, uh, get with them. You, you know, a, a go-to meeting option is a, is a great option to be able to do uh, conference calls, conference videos. Uh, you can actually have a, a group, large group of people meeting together, uh, and at the same time, if you already got somebody who has an account, uh, then I definitely would recommend kind of going towards that route. So I'm a big believer in free. Um, free is my favorite word. It used to be buffet, but uh, that's a whole nother story. But with free, uh, there are some options out there that you guys can use, uh, and we'll kind of talk about that. Uh, so uh, Zoom. Uh, 
So on Zoom, uh, you have the option, you can do, uh, there's different pay scales, and I'll show you a picture. So on the version where you don't pay, you can have up to 49 people, including you, uh, do a meeting for 40 minutes. And you don't have to charge for anything like that. You don't get charged for it. Um, and again, you could have uh, that amount of people. If you're going for uh, 50 or more, uh, they do have a monthly option that's like 15 bucks a month. Uh, but again, with Zoom, you can do uh, conference calls and uh, conference video, video conferencing. So it, it's a really cool option. Um, again, I mentioned GoToMeeting kind of in that same realm as Zoom. Uh, you can also use Skype. A lot of people don't know this, but Skype actually offers you a uh, video conference call of up to 50 people. Now, the cool thing about Skype is that you just got to get all your club members logged in uh, to a Skype account. Now, with the Skype account, what that allows you to do is free video conferencing up to 50 people, which is cool. Um, but that's also unlimited time. So if you guys go that route, you can absolutely 100% be able to uh, use that uh, for your club meeting, you know, virtual club meeting. I, I think that that option is uh, one of my favorites. Um, Our club also has a private Facebook page that uh, we put out there. It's a private group. Um, if we want to get a message across or do a meeting, we, we publicize our, our meetings on Facebook right now. Um, but you can use that option. Now, the, the, the drawback of using a Facebook or even like a YouTube page is that uh, you can't interact as far as phone, uh, you know, talking uh with everybody. What that allows you to do is the presenter actually talks and then what happens is if somebody's watching the video they can t chime in with a uh, technical question or you know hey where's the meeting yada yada yada. Uh, with stuff like that you'll be able to uh the presenter will be able to, to talk um but the other people who are watching the video will not be able to talk they'll only be able to chat with typing so uh those are a couple of options you know again youtube and facebook kind of that same thing uh david cobb and i would do a, a podcast on youtube and if you're watching it live you can chat in with live questions uh, kind of accordingly. So kind of keep that in mind as well. If uh, you guys have any other options, hit me up. I wanna know uh, how you guys are communicating. I know I've talked to some clubs that are doing just conference calls. Some clubs where the president is just picking up the phone saying, hey, how you doing? How are you? Uh, you know, if that works for you guys, let us know. Um, but again, we're here to help. Um, so if you have any other options that you guys are using, uh, we definitely want to know about it. So now I want to talk a little bit about the market you're looking for, right? Because at the end of the day, uh, we really want to be able to kind of uh, cater to uh, the age groups that we're looking for as far as getting new members are concerned. So there's different types of social media that depending on what age groups uh, people are in, uh, that they generally use. So like an Instagram, if you're really looking for young members, uh, Instagram is probably a better bet. You're going to have an age range of 18 to about 29, 30. Uh, what will happen there is uh, people communicate uh, in that age group more on Instagram as opposed to like a Facebook. Facebook, you're looking at kind of uh, 25, 30 to about 50. Um, you know, again, uh, you know, as far as communication goes, you'll see that uh, a lot of people uh, have different types of mediums. So if you guys have a Facebook account, good for you. If you guys have an Instagram account, good for you as well. Um, Twitter, uh, what we're finding more is kind of an, an in informational, uh, you know, it's more celebrity based or, or public figure based. Um, 
I don't think having a Twitter account hurts, but I also don't think uh, you'll get a ton of members from it. But, but you know, if that's the age group you're going for, we're talking about like maybe 18 to 25, 30 again, um, Twitter, uh, give it a shot. LinkedIn uh, is another option. We're actually setting up the LinkedIn site for the district. So uh, again, if you guys have LinkedIn public uh, profiles, uh, hit that up as well. Let us know. Um, just keep an eye out. We're going to start working that process as much uh, as we can as well. So again, I think that a, a lot of the options that are based out to you, um, I talked about YouTube earlier. YouTube is really one of the bigger uh, options. doesn't matter what age group people are at. Uh, with YouTube, uh, everybody uses YouTube, whether it's for informational. My sink broke, so I got on YouTube. Hey, I wanted to see a concert, uh, so I got on YouTube. Uh, every age group uses YouTube. So if that's something you guys start doing, uh, we'll talk about that and kind of hopefully uh, get you guys started there as well. The reason why I bring these up is because uh, if you've got a Facebook page and you're not using it, shame on you, right? Uh, if you've got an Instagram page and you're not using it, shame on you. These are easy ways to keep uh, up-to-date information. Our club had a brick-and-mortar web page. Uh, what we found out is that uh, through a, a span of six months, we had... Uh, three people visit, I think. I'll have to confirm that. Uh, but in a span of that same six months on our Facebook page, we had a couple thousand. So keep that in mind. If you've got a standard old regular brick and mortar Facebook or regular page that you're uh, paying for, remember, favorite word, free. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, a couple quick things I want to show you real quick. Uh, I want to talk about doing a quick video. Videos for uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, just a, a short 30 minute, or I'm sorry, 30 minute, a short 30 second to, you know, two minute video gets more views and more likes in social media than you could possibly imagine in any post. I'm going to tell you right now, um, the easiest things that I do, I'll take my phone and I will just hold it up like this and just tell, hey, how you doing? This is Ken Cooley, Public Image Chair, District 6510. Notice the phone is sideways, right? I'm telling you, it's easier to do it this way, to do it sideways, because if you film like this, it'll have it all cut up. Uh, think of it in terms of like a movie theater. The video is wide, has the wide screen. If you film the video with the phone straight, it cuts all, you're cutting off a whole lot of film. So um, with that said as well, kind of think in terms of a uh, little two minute video. If you're at an event, take a two minute video. What that does is it tells the world out there that you're actually, my club's doing something right now. We're doing a service project. We're doing something along those lines. Um, as well as making it so that uh, if your friend sees it and your friend likes it, all of their friends are going to see it and all of their friends are going to like it. So it really, we did a video uh, for a, uh, we had an ice cream social that we did for uh, a couple years back. And uh, that video, that little minute and a half video had like a thousand likes on it. So keep that in mind. If you have questions on how to do those, please hit me up. Uh, I'm here to help you again anytime. Uh, you know, I, I talk a lot about social media, but really at the end of the day, I'm a newspaper guy. I love my newspapers, but you know what? Not too many people uh, 45 and younger are reading newspapers. Granted, I just turned 29 last week, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, but keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, you know, social media, uh, that's where we're going right now. We'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, if you have questions, again, hit me up. I want to talk about Rotary Brand Central. Use Rotary. Rotary, uh, their website has been terrible in the past few years. They have really have taken the time uh, recently to kind of put stuff together, uh, be able to kind of help us create what we need to do. Rotary Brand Central is a... Uh, a great tool 
It helps you, it has logo designs. If your club needs a logo, you can do it right there. If you need a, a program done, they have it right there. If you need a, a promotional video or a promotional pamphlet, Rotary Brand Central is a great tool to have. Please use them accordingly. Uh, you know, if, if you have questions or, or if we need to go into greater detail, don't hesitate to reach out to me. But again, use the tools that are there. They're all free. Again, favorite word. So uh, keep that in mind. So a lot of what we need to do as Rotarians, we just need to tell our story, right? So please keep in mind that uh, the kookier, the better. Uh, I, I mean, I've dressed up in, in numerous outfits just to kind of get the word out there. I don't do that because I think it looks good. I do that because I know that if there's a picture on Facebook of me dressed up as Abe Lincoln, that somebody's friend is going to see that and say, hey, that club actually, they're kind of kooky. They're kind of fun. I think I want to join that club. Okay, and I like dress, dressing up like Abe Lincoln too. I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, again, if you've got a, a person who I affectionately refer to as a social butterfly who's always on Facebook, who's always doing Instagram, who's always posting pictures of their grandkids, of, of you know, just you name it, events, I was out at such and such, uh, that should be your public image chair right there. If you've got somebody who's already social uh, media savvy, Ask them if they're interested in public image. If they've got questions, they can come to me. I call them my social butterflies, but you would be surprised, man, at how much uh, people out in the, in the universe uh, of Rotary have learned about Rotary because we put different posts out there. I always joke around about never missing an opportunity to take a selfie. Uh, but that is true. I think with social butterflies, uh, you know, you'll see those people in your club who are always on Instagram. Get them involved with your club and get them involved with public image. Uh, it's, it's an easy transfer. If somebody's at an event and you're doing, uh, you know, you're doing charity work and they're going to take five pictures, ten pictures of it anyway, make them your public image chair. You can give them permissions to run all of your Facebook and Instagram as well if that's uh, something you're comfortable with doing. But again, hit me up for any questions like that. So I know I'm throwing a little bit out at you. Uh, you know, again, we're try what we're trying to do is getting the into this new world now and figure out how uh, Rotary fits into the new world. We all, and, and me included, uh, I feel like Rotary... Uh, there are a lot more important things in the world than uh, you know, worrying about Rotary meetings and such. But at the same time, in my heart, I know what Rotary has done for me. I know what Rotary can do for the community. And if we can kind of keep this together and push forward with Rotary, uh, you as presidents coming in, you can really have the power to, uh, to move mountains. I hear all the time, imagine if your club wasn't there, right? If you guys weren't available to do all the service projects in your community, who would do them, right? We want to be able to still do those projects, but we also want to be able to tell our story. So hopefully uh, this gives you kind of a little bit of a, a background and a little bit of uh, moving forward on how Rotary can change the lives. You as presidents, again, uh, this is one of those jobs where it's uh, sometimes it's thankless, uh, but I promise you at the end of the day, uh, when your year is up, you'll be like, that was the best thing I ever did and the best thing I ever did for my club um, and community. I've met so many people through Rotary and just for through putting out public posts of uh, people reaching out to me and saying, hey, who are you guys? What do you do that we've been able to go into the community and kind of change lives? So remember that. Uh, again, we're here to help you. My information and my contact information is below. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Uh, good luck this year. Um, and, uh, you know, this strange times, uh, it's the end of the world as we know it. But I feel fine.
So you guys have a good one and uh, we will chat soon.